All right, all right. So we are going to try to do first person to do this that I know of. Um, we're gonna try to do a vault with only using a rowboat. We're not taking our ship. Um, we're just gonna take everything we can, food-wise, because I mean that's all we need. And just um, we'll get rid of all the stuff in our. Actually, I just take this. Um, and we're just gonna try do a solo vault with only a rowboat. Now the things we have to worry about. It's gonna be primarily uh, knowing where we're going, right? Because we're not gonna have a map. I think that's gonna be the biggest thing. That's gonna be. Um, Oops, that's going to be the most difficult thing we're going to have to do here. But if we can figure out where we're going, I say, I don't know, I think we have a real, a real shot at uh, doing this thing. So also, I'm going to get rid of the cannon and, oops, and the wood. I don't want that in my inventory because that's just going to get in my way. And uh, there's no point of having any of that because we're not going to use it. So... We're just going to loot um, all the barrels around here, go ahead and buy a vault quest, and then we'll, uh, we'll get out there. So as you might be realizing, we're going to have to start the vault where you have to put um, the vault quest actually on the captain's table in the ship just so we can start the voyage and after that we're just gonna hop in the rowboat and try to do it hoping for a good amount of food here about not because that's our other issue we can't die because if we die we had we would respawn the boat and that can't happen so dying is not allowed Yeah, this would be easier with two people, but believe it or not, I couldn't find anyone who wanted to do a, uh, a solo or a vault run and a robo. Believe it or not. Um, but, uh, we'll make two with what we have here. So we're gonna hold. Might as well get started, because this is gonna take a very long time, so why not? Also, we do have the issue of what happens when you run into people, but uh, I guess the only thing we have to think about is we hope we don't, because that would be an issue. Other than that, though, we're just gonna, we're just gonna wing it. But, uh, we might as well keep a storage crate, you never know when, we, when you need a storage crate, so you might as well toss it right there. Alright, so let's start this thing, I'll go start the vault, and then we'll hop in the rowboat, and uh, we'll beat this. Before you ask, I do, um, I do solo galleon, regular speaking. Just trying to see if there's anything else that we're going to need here, just by looking around, and I don't think, maybe, maybe I'll take a pet, other than that. I don't think anything's going to be a help of us, so... Alright, so, can we begin? Also, we do have the small, very small issue. Oh, we're not going to be able to fit through there, are we? Crap. We have the uh, small issue that a rowboat is uh, very slow. 
so it might be uh, I'm curious to how long it would actually take to do this and if we can actually do it you know what times are we looking at so it's uh it's gonna be very interesting in that manner to see what we can do um, but I think not dying is definitely gonna be the hardest part here And it is very important that we don't go the wrong way for a while because um, it'd be tough to go back. So obviously the only way I am going to get around is I'm going to look at a map on my phone. But uh, <laughs> we won't know where we are on the map so we'll have to use some um, deductive thinking to figure out where we are. And then where we need to go next just by using a compass. Hopefully that will be enough. It should be enough. The hard part is going to be identifying if that's the correct island that we need to be going to or not. So we'll cross that bridge when we get there, so to speak. It's a new season today, so I'm just getting all these random achievements coming in. As I'm doing this, I'm trying to think if there's any other complication that I missed by doing a rowboat. Something that, um, you know, isn't going to work. But I think we're all good in that manner. I'm pretty sure it's theoretically possible to do this with a rowboat. I hope. But we're just going to have to see. I think it's this island ahead of me, but that's another one of the issues. Um, in choppy water, it's pretty hard to see where you're going at a rowboat because you know there's no elevation. <laughs> you're um, you're with the waves, and we got stuck on something here. Hopefully, if we meet anybody, they will uh, respect us for what we're doing. Just let us go on our way. They can clearly see I have no loot at the moment, but uh, getting back f from the vault to the uh, to the outpost is another one of those um, difficulties we're going to encounter, so we'll just have to play that out. But the most important thing is not taking damage, or if you take damage, take very little. Pretty sure it's this island up here, but uh... Let's see. Yeah, it's right here. And like I said, I'm also going to use a, uh, I'm using the companion app for Sea of Thieves just to identify what island we're going to also. Because without a map, we're definitely screwed, obviously. We're not going to be going anywhere without a map, so. Um. Um, another issue we're going to have to run into is ammo. We have... We're not going to be able to refill ammo, most likely. So, um, essentially what that means is uh, we need to save it. Only to use when absolutely um, necessary, we're going to save it. Because if we get into a situation where there's a, uh, a TNT bomber, I guess, um, skeleton that we're going to be screwed if we don't have ammo so we have to save our ammo for those um, occasions that will hopefully be rare let's hope because that's the last thing I don't want those to be common but after we get this going here we'll go ahead and uh, hopefully get off the island without getting shot we might be able to just run for it here
figure out what the next course of action is. Okay, let's check out this map. Oh my gosh, we got the X already. Sweet. Okay. Wow, to get the X on the first thing, that's gonna be... Well, saying it, it's nice is an understatement, because every little travel thing we do in this rowboat takes up a huge amount of time, so... The less we have to travel, the better. I'm just trying to get off the beach here. Because we're still in the sand. I don't want to get shot. And after we get off, I'll start looking. Figure out if we can identify it from just that tiny little thing we have. Shouldn't be that big of an issue. We should be able to find it. I'm going to go out a little further. Just to get away from me. Perfect. Alright, so, this is going to take a while, but we're going to have to figure out what island is from that. Alright, it's Crescent Isle. So... Now, here's the hard part. How do we get to Crescent Island? Okay, so I know we spawned at Golden Sands, actually. So let me just see where that is. And it's pretty close, if I remember, because Golden Sands is on the west side. Yep. Okay. So after Golden Sands, we went... Which direction did we go? I probably should have checked which direction we went. Alright, well Crescent Isle is pretty much as far west as you can be, I guess. That's an island up there. I mean... Okay, there's that. It's another island. That one's close. It's gonna, okay, it's gonna be on the west side, I think. Oops. My bad. Uh, what am I looking for here? What am I looking for? There it is. So I believe it's that island. This is... Again, it all depends on where we are, and I don't exactly know where we are. Let's just sail to it. What, what could go wrong, right? Um, yeah, I can't tell where exactly we are on Golden Sands. That's why it's being it's difficult. But as long as we go this direction, I, I hope we didn't. This is not like Cannon Cove or something. But. Ooh. Waves are brutal on a robo, I will say that. And the biggest issue we're going to have is identifying the island, especially when making those really long distance travels. So we're really going to have to figure out um, how we want to play that. Because if after we get the key and if, when the island is far, it will be when it's far. Um, it will be quite difficult to travel there and figure out which island it is um, when you're traveling that far. So and these waves just these waves just suck. And it's not even. I can't imagine if we get in a storm <laughs> with a rowboat. Um, good thing is, uh, stuff like, um, we won't get attacked by, like, giant skeleton galleons coming out of the water, or, uh, or megs or anything, since we're in a rowboat. So that's nice. Um, since we're only a crew of one, it would be difficult to take any of that on but in a normal ship, so...
hopefully by the end of this one, it'll just be second nature where I'm going. Where is this? Mermaid's Highway. Okay. That's not... Okay. So it's pretty much straight north. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we went south of Golden Outpost, and we didn't go to the west. Okay. Got it. Interesting. So this is pretty much what it's going to be. We're going to have to go to islands to figure out what islands they are. And then from there, we're going to have to be able to travel to our destination. So I'm pretty sure I can see it right now. Just straight ahead of us. That should be it. We'll have to pass Sea Dogs Rest the way. And, uh... Find this, find this chest, hopefully. Without dying. Like I said, I'm just trying to think of any complications that could arise because we don't have a ship. <laughs> uh, I can't think of any off the top of my head. It's better, it'd be better to find out now that we can't do it than later if we made more progress, so... Anything would be nice. I think the obvious biggest issue with this is just the fact that we don't have a map. And we're in a, we're in a rowboat. But, uh, <laughs> other than that, other than the fact that we don't have a map, and we are in a rowboat, uh, navigating these waters is extremely difficult. Ooh. With these massive waves here we're hitting. Um, everything's fine. God, we just can't get past this section right here. Our biggest thing is us losing our way. And, um, like, we know, we know what direction it is, but, like, you know, halfway there, we accidentally turned a little to the right, and we didn't notice, because you have to leave the oars to check the compass, and we're trying to do this as fast as possible, because I'm afraid how brutally long it's going to take to get to the vault. Because I know the vault will be on the other side of the map, as it always is. So any time we can save on the way there is uh, it's better. Ooh. All right, so this will be Sea Dog's Rest. Right up here. And if we can turn to the left, there we go. Keep going. And we're gonna go to the right of this actually, instead of the left as I was pointing to. And I would keep a keep a lookout on the horizons for ships, except that it doesn't matter, because we can't do anything if there is one. And, uh, I'm also curious, um, how long it's going to take before my ship sinks over there? I would assume, you wouldn't think it would take a long time before someone came around and it these days. But, uh, you never know. It's indifferent to me at the moment. I believe our emissary value is reset with a new season, so... Oh, my emissary value before was like... Six something, six hundred thousand something, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was pretty high up there. And, uh, maybe we're on the third rank? I'm not sure. But, uh, pretty sure they got reset, so we shouldn't have that issue. Hopefully. Uh, I think.
we did raise the emissary flag. Um, so that if no one sinks it, in the odd chance, we will be able to make some extra cash coming out of it. Which will be nice, but this will be the only... No, I've never heard of anybody doing this. Of completing a vault without the ship moving. So, that would be cool if we could do that. Um... But, uh... Said there are going to be complications along the way. And we're just going to deal with those and figure out where we're going. And we'll be fine. And we are coming up on the south shore. Which is the shore with the chest, if I remember correctly. Should just be the left of the boulder at the, at the right side of the south shore. night here in a second and night um is gonna make it more difficult to navigate on a robo i feel like it could make it easier so it will make it more difficult but uh shouldn't be that big of an issue also i'm sad that i can't there's nothing here to re refill my tanker so i can't get drunk out uh, on a robo i can i just only have one glass and i did take choose to take the sniper for the purpose of shooting the barrels. Um, Alright, we gotta figure out. I don't gotta figure out where this thing is. Interesting. Okay. There's the sand strip right there that's on the map. There's three trees clumped together. I believe that's this area here. This bush area. Yeah, because that's the rock of the bush area. And it's just to the left. It looks like it's right here. But, uh... Bit further down, maybe? Hear him. Uh, I want to make sure not to take any damage here. Great. I'm going to wait till they're right next to each other so hopefully I can kill them all. Not the rowboat. He's still, he's fine. Hopefully. Hopefully it's fine. Looks a, a little beaten up. It floats. Alright, back to it. Again, you see the red plant just on the very edge. And it's pretty close to that. So I feel like it's right in here. Yep. 
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and try to defend all the skeletons. Gonna try and jump over him, but he let me do it too easily. If we completed the voyage, technically, but obviously we're, we're trying to do the full vault here. So we're going to take back on the robo, get the safety. And we didn't get hit during that, so that's nice. We're going to sail out a bit far here. We'll continue our quest. We'll see where this, hopefully this vault's not terribly far, but watch it be doubles ridge. Oh, it's on Crescent Isle. Okay. Um, trying to remember. Exactly where that is. I got a general idea. Uh, I'm really just trying to, I could go get that, but honestly, I don't care. I don't really care about the money right now. So, I just want to do this vault. Pretty sure it's in the, it's in the Bay Area. I think all the vaults are in the Bay Area, of islands like this. Um, that's where you generally in the caves or under arches or stuff like that. There's another robot there. Okay, we'll have to remember that. Oh, it's definitely just going to be in this cave here. Um, try and turn any day now. We might want to. We might want to stop just because this rowboat's going to be bad to turn around. Bingo. Easy. Easy money. We're going to bring it in a little further just because it's going to make loading things a lot easier. Alright, so obviously we have priorities here, and uh, I'm not going to have time to do the puzzle by myself. Normally I could, with two people it's, you can do it, but uh, one person, I'm going to focus on just getting the normal chest out. So, so far, we have been insanely lucky, obviously. Um... The first island was close. I'm pretty sure we could still see, if we had a spyglass, we could still see our ship from here. That tells you um, how close we are actually to the outpost. So we don't need that medallion. Take this. Nothing up there. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, we just climb back up. There we go. Missed the sprint button the first time almost. Alright. Take this, take this. We are going to make sure we don't just drop the chest and we actually have time to get him out. That's our goal. So we're going to have to figure that out. But we're going to have to do that now and then if we have time we'll go back up there and get the rest. 
but I really want to make sure we get all that we can out because obviously doing the vault with one person is not um, not really a good idea. Alright. Jump here. Ooh, we hit that invisible thing right there every time that's annoying. Alright, now we gotta go. Climb over here. here. Go ahead and jump here. Drop these off the edge. We don't have time for the dowling until the door is too close. We're just gonna go for the gold. There might be an object over here, if I remember correctly. Um, maybe? And we can't risk dying at all, so that's our exit. First we're going to pull the chest up here because there might be some skeletons spawned up there. And then we're going to deal with everything else. Load them on the rowboat, sail towards the outpost, sell them, and uh, finish up. But this is pretty much the best case scenario for a vault. Um, on the same island as the key. I don't remember the name of the vault or that we did, so... We haven't sunk yet. Plus we have lost our status. And they would have told us, so. Now I guess if I really wanted a challenge, I would do this in Devil's Roar, <laughs> where robots can be, uh, can break from the, uh, from the volcanoes, but, uh, I don't have it in me to do Devil's Roar <laughs> with a rowboat. I don't, I barely have it in me. Ooh, no! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ugh. Oh no, the sharks.
No. We have one shot left and it takes three to kill a shark, so. Well, saying that that absolutely sucked would be an understatement. That was, uh, that was terrible. The biggest thing I'm concerned about is uh, whether the vault is still open. No. No, it's not. Well, <sighs> good thing is, money-wise, this wasn't important to me. Um, that's good, because I'm getting no money. Like I said earlier, the issue is going to be getting this boat out of here, by the way. Holy crap. Alright, we just swam across. I don't know how many tiles. Quite, we, we swam decently far. I'm not going to come and say that we swam crazy far, which we didn't. But, uh, we certainly swam far enough that it was a major inconvenience for us. We can also say that we were lucky that there were not multiple sharks. I'm just going to say that right now. Because we would have died if there were two sharks out in the water instead of just the one. Alright, so we came. And we are back with half a vault's loot. <laughs> if that. We barely got any chests in the rowboat before that happened, so... But because of my lack of ammo and because of my um, lack of health, or just food in general, I guess, I'm going to try to get as far away from the island before we start actually going out, because the last thing I need right now is to get attacked by something else. I'm, I'm still amazed by how lucky we were with this fault. 
I went to the went into this. This was my first attempt at this. I went into this having no idea what to expect, and we luckily got this vault right here, where you can still see where we spawned. I mean, that's just insane. And then we get the X on the map, the very first one. So, Merchant Alliance supplies sold. Uh, no. <laughs> I think not. Ship's still afloat, so that's a plus. Oh, all these stupid waves. Glorious ships just sitting there. I will say, I do enjoy going here on a rowboat instead of swimming. I'm also lucky that, well, I guess I'm not lucky that it teleported me back to the island, but I am lucky in the fact that this island was in eyes view. These waves are so, are so brutal. I can barely move here. I'm just trying to turn and face it. I'm. God, yeah, I'm not selling anything. That's not good. I just, it just won't go. These waves, I'm, they're just pushing me to the other side. I'm just not even touching anything at this point. There we go. I hope we get to calmer water soon. It looks like up there there's some calmer water. Golden Sands Outpost. I'm just gonna say it. Whoever opens the vault next is getting loot. Turn, please turn. Please. Okay. Sure. Good enough. How much money are we making from this? And we still have our emissary value, okay. We really just got three chests from the vault, and then it closed. That's great. All right. Well, there you go. That definitely wasn't worth it, but that's uh, we did successfully. Successfully is a thin line, but we did do a uh, solo vault with a rowboat. And, uh, we got about, I guess, just not even a quarter of the vault out before, 
before that unfortunate event happened. It's about to happen again the way I'm standing. All right. But uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for suffering through through my pain with me. And uh, that's going to finish this video. Keep on sailing.